Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. This is a Happy Acrylic Painting Monday. Since if we're painting on Monday, we all should be happy. Yes and yes. <laughs> so we're going to be doing more in the holiday theme. We're going to be painting Santa on the beach. For those of you who live in Florida or in Australia or in other places where you don't got no snow and Texas. you're still celebrating the holidays. Yes and yes. So we always wanted to do a tribute to that. Um, we've done a few others on on YouTube before, so fun ones, and, and I think this is you know part of our uh, honoring the people that from around the world that are watching us. We thank you very much. Take a moment to subscribe now if you have it, and we're going to get right down to the painting. And also, we're going to be sharing with you some fun uh, new projects we've got uh, for, in our art academy. Um, lots of tips and tricks this time. And uh, just follow along. We'll see you. And just uh, follow along down here to the table. You can see where uh, originally I painted this on just a little round magnetic uh, canvas. That's cute. Can go on a refrigerator. But this is a six by six canvas painted just a phthalo blue and white. And for those of you who are uh, uh, have signed up for our academy membership, even the, just the um, what orange or, level. Orange level. Four ninety five a month. Four ninety five a month, and you don't have to keep going. Just do it every once in a while, you know, and catch up on your traceables. These are um, will will be uh, right there available for you to um, to print out. And of course, you can do it larger too, and this would still be cute. But we wanted to keep it fun and small, and just something about uh, maybe that you need a last minute gift for somebody. Hmm? Yes, <laughs> and uh, so let's just get right down to it. This is a gallery wrap canvas and you don't have to frame it um that's made by creative mark that's a jerry's uh edge one it's a, a six by six and the the secret to this is you paint the whole painting all the way around the canvas now you wouldn't have to do that for instance if you were doing it with the holiday thing perhaps you'd want to um tape this off like here and maybe paint the edges gold or something like that so you get creative with this too but again this is what we've done we're going to go ahead and trace this on while i'm doing that i want to point out that if you see that i'm typing also this is what we call a premiere where we've pre we've pre-filmed it but we're and but we're all going to be chatting along like we do every monday and i'll be answering questions Live and uh, semi in person, and, and semi in person, and um, on the live thing. So, so you get to, you, you know, you get a double whammy here with the answers and stuff. How fun is that? And we want to thank our moderators who have taken the time out of their busy day to um, uh, join us. And this is going to be one of those fun things that um, you'll think back and remember. Oh yeah, do you remember when we painted? Santa on the beach. That was so cool. That was such a fun little painting, wasn't it? And I, I think so. I think it's the idea that most of us, um, uh, having been kind of cooped up in our homes in 2020, I often thought this was, um, the title of this could be um, Remembering 20, Christmas of 2020. <laughs> Just yeah. kind of, there go the cruise ships and everybody's vacation plans. Of course, John and I were supposed to get married and uh, 2020 on a cruise ship so perhaps didn't this happen didn't happen right i think i want this over just uh, that's, that's so you can wrap it yeah i can wrap it all right so all right so one thing you want to do when you're doing oceans let's just talk about this now is your horizon line needs to be level if you don't own a triangle it's a fun um piece of equipment for sure, because uh, make sure that your your horizon is horizon is level. You don't want your water running out of the ocean, falling off the earth. That would be terrible. All the fish would be so upset with you. They okay? really would. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put sand in now, just at least vaguely here. I'll just get him in here. And uh, just kind of a general outline of where all this goes. It's, he's pretty simple. You don't see his face at all. I think anybody could do this one uh, very easily. All right. And uh, we'll just do kind of like this. 
something's happening. What are you doing, John? Oh, just messing with the equipment. Feels like it's kind of stuck a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it does that occasionally. All right, kind of scared me a minute. Yeah, just see if you're paying attention. We're all paying attention, John. <laughs> we wouldn't miss a word of this, okay? At least we know we got some boxes here, beautifully wrapped. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the colors we're using in a minute. But um, let me see. I think that's basically all there is to this. You want to go over the several times. You want to go over the the lines because what happens is is that um, uh, sometimes on on a canvas like this they're a little tricky to see. So this requires just a little more foresight on your part. All right. You want me to put the cruise ship in? What's that? You're not going to draw the cruise ship? No, I'm not going to draw the cruise ship in uh, quite yet. Because I've got to put the um, sky and everything, and he's kind of in the way. All right, so we're not doing that. We yeah. can, I'm going to freehand in the cruise ship or come back or something, but not putting him in right now. Okay? It's really just a kind of a triangle at both ends. With this, but you see this triangle shape here? We just cut it off and then just did something like that. It's pretty simple to put that in. Yeah. So. Just thought I'd mention it because people are going to mention it. Well, they will. And no, we're not putting it in. And just. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is your Sorrel transfer paper, and it's a little, I know it's a little light, it could, could be darker, so what we'll do is we'll just take out a little piece of white chalk and uh, just do it again, uh, just just so we, everybody's clear on what we've got here. Here's our horizon line. Here's Santa. Like that, and then here's our presence in our little footy here. I mean, it's really, this is a, such a fun, simple picture. You're going to have no trouble at all doing this. I say that sincerely. That's, you know, so just, okay, something like this. Just put your boxes in. Your little gifts. All right, so there, there. This is just so easy. We know our ocean goes here. If you see some other lines, that's where I was testing. I tested the yellow Sorel paper and the blue, and really much, pretty much came up with with this. Okay, that's all I could, all I could do here. There we go. All right, so let's start by um, talking about the colors and. The first color is yellow ochre, yellow oxide, cad yellow medium. This is an optional color. It's um, uh, cad yellow deep, and this is actually a gold color. This is um, a metallic gold from uh, Holbein. This is cad red. This is cad red light. This is burnt burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, thalo blue. This is called Southern Ocean Blue. This is made by Matisse. It's a really wonderful color for water. It's now just if you don't perfect. have it, how do you make if, it? If you don't have it, you can use a thalo green, white, and thalo blue, and that'll make something similar. It's a really luscious color. Luscious. Then, then we have zinc white and titanium white. So that's pretty much your basic colors here that we've got, except for the gold. And I thought the gold might be nice on the packages. Okay. So. Makes sense to me. I like gold packages. Yeah. So we're going to start off with, and then listen, let's just take a moment and draw this around the sides like so. That way, when you put this up on the mantle, you can just just add another little Christmas de de decor here. You want to do your beach line too on the left side? Oh yeah, probably want your water line too. Yeah. You got your top, you got the horizon. There you go. Yeah, this horizon, then here's where the water would be. Okay. Now. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Hey John, I need you to pause for just a second. I have to grab some stuff here. All right, so 
We're going to do a, a, a couple of things with the sky. Here's the, here's one, I, like I said, you're going to start off, your sky should be darker at the top, and as you get down toward the water, it should lighten up, all right? Yes and yes. So let's just uh, take some white and a little of this Southern Ocean blue color. I'm going to just do that. That's where my water's going to go. So I want to just put that in here like this. I wanted you to see that. A little Caribbean water. Not a Caribbean water. It's usually there's a dark line up here like that. And then it gets real light here. As you come forward. And like we'll just preserve all this as long as we're doing it. This doesn't take very much paint. You're gonna be surprised how little paint this takes. Okay, but we'll come on down here like that and let's just Turn it over as we're painting and keep it going here. Just keep the fun going. Here's a little white. Because remember, it gets it gets lighter as it com comes into shore, like so. It's just going to get lighter like that, see? We won't see anything over there, but you might on this side. So we're just, we're not using a stay wet uh, canvas today. We're just using a regular canvas because I want my paint to dry a little quicker. Stay wet palette. The stay wet palette, rather. I don't think they make a stay wet canvas. Yet. No, they don't make a stay wet canvas. They do make a stay wet palette. And um, I guess a stay wet canvas would be oil paint. Now you see how if I put the paint just on one side of the brush and I bend it, see, can you see this? And I kind of fold the back but and bend it, I can get a little water line. See that? It's just a, a neat wave. trick, right? A little wave kind of action, a little wave action. Let's do it again. Just on one side of the canvas, kind of hold it where you want it and then bend it and then wiggle it and just move it. See? All right, so that's that's how you do that, in case you were wondering. You can do another little, one another little things. Okay, there, we got our water. Aren't you impressed? So now I'm going to rinse the brush because I've got Southern Ocean a uh, blue on that. And then I want to put in, um, now keep in mind, this one was done with thalo green and turquoise, uh, the thalo green and, and thalo blue turquoise shade. And you can see I've got very similar colors, yes. So that let's start with the, uh, I think the, probably the thalo blue and white. Okay. Oh, that is, that looks like ultramarine blue. What are you? Yeah, you're ultramarine blue. This is the phthalo blue color. And I'm just, I, I'll tell you, here's why we're painting it again. I want enough paint where when I come up here like this, um, I can start gradating it. So this is just your second layer. There was nothing wrong with the first layer but I want to make sure that we have it. Now, as we go down, here's the trick. You want to skip a little bit like this. And um, in fact, let's just change brushes for a minute and I'll show you a trick here. Uh, this is a damp brush up here. I'm gonna blend this in. These, these two, I'm gonna blend down like this so that the sky is, is more of a gradated sky. I think that's probably a little lighter than I want it, but I want it lighter as it comes down the horizon. Make sure I'm going all the way down on both sides like this and just sort of turn the canvas when you're doing that. Okay. I think I wanted a little bit more blue than I have it up here, but just you can always add color, but there we go. Come on, let's get some paint going on here. Got to have enough paint for this to work. If you don't, um, uh, you're not going to be happy. And I'm going to add a little Southern Ocean blue to this as I come down like this. So I want it a little bit lighter down here in this area where our water is. Okay. And normally I would put the sand in last, but since we're going through all of this, just 
sure we have enough color. And just put that on the canvas. I need more paint. I'm going to put a little water on the brush because this is, I need more paint and I'm not happy with how this is going. So the, the canvas is soaking this stuff in really strongly. So again, I get darker at the top, lighter as you come down. Yes and yes. If you have to do it a couple of times, that's all right. There you go. Just don't quit on me. Just keep going. Always overlap. Okay. So we've got a pretty good light. Here's a little bit of zinc white. We want to get a little bit lighter down here toward the towards Santa. Not too light, but I want to suggest that there's some clouds here. And zinc white is a good one to do that with. So we want a little bit of a what they call what a marine cloud layer. Yeah. A little bit of zinc white down here. Just kind of use the corner and dribble in some clouds. Wait a minute, there's my corner of my brush. Now, if you haven't done an underpainting, this won't work because um, what you'll end up doing is um, starting racing. This only works if you've got, um, already you've got some color on here, okay? And I still want a little more of this Southern Ocean blue and zinc white. Let's try that. I wanted a little bit more blue green down here. There we go. Now let's take a little bit of titanium. Okay, we'll just put some whiffs. See, these are our wispy clouds. Don't get them too close to Santa. Also. You want his beard to show up and his hat and all that stuff. So you keep kind of, as you get up higher, kind of level, kind of flatten out the clouds. So just no more than little wispy lines here of where the winds, the winds kind of seared them off. Okay. Yeah. Come, come, got to come over here and do something here. We kind of lost our guy over here. All right. There we go. Just putting in a little few little clouds. That just that far away look here. Of course, we got the cruise ship here, and I want to. Kind of get this line a little darker here again, where the water line is. And why does that not look level to me? It just doesn't. Looks like you've got two different elevations. It certainly there. does, doesn't it? I did. So let's. There you see. And all that cheap talk about horizon lines. So okay. for all you people that were watching and wanted to straighten it, there you go. Yeah, there you go. See? Because we knew you, we knew you caught it. So there. I mean that. Yeah. So there. Yeah. Yes and yes. Yeah. All right, let's let's take a moment and dry this. Should we take a moment and dry that? Should we show a few items with an air dry for a bit? Okay. So um if those of you who've been following our holiday tutorials, if you have we did this Christmas kitty very large. I originally did him on a um, that's a YouTube tutorial if you haven't caught that these are really really marvelous um, cute little paintings cute cute little paintings and, a lot of people um, did the kitty uh, uh, one of our one of the ones that we were very successful with is um, is this Santa if you back that out Santa on the bridge on the rooftop this is a really neat picture it's a it's a YouTube video if you haven't seen it I'm really going to suggest you Take a good look at that. Um, 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 later, I did another one where I had some package of cigarettes here and a bottle of whiskey, and I called it, uh, you know, break at Macy's, you know. <laughs> Christmas break at Macy's for Santa. And mm -hmm. then last uh, Monday, we did this bird. And what's wonderful about this, this cardinal painting is that 
the way this background goes in, it looks so complicated and so easy to do. And those of you who have painted this have done a great job. Highly recommend this tutorial. And, you know, you guys, put the word out. If you like something we're painting, share it with your friends. Get it up. Put it in your uh, playlist. The way it's and it's lovely that you subscribe and we love you and we really thank you so much for the donations. I know a couple have come in already today. Um, and John will talk about those in a minute. But the thing that you know, if you just take a moment, if you love us, and I know you do, we love you too. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Take a moment and just give us a shout out all over the planet. You can do Ooh. it. You can do it wherever you are. Just tell people about us, and we appreciate it very much. All so, over the planet. Um, there's that. And uh, let's see how we did here. Uh, not too bad. You're right, John. We can do that. Now, here's the thing. Oh, we want to do Santa. But there's a rule about trying to paint red. It really does better over white. I've seen that before. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all of his hat in here like this. All right, and uh, we'll just do this a little at a time so we don't confuse you. Because this has to be red, but you want to have a good white. You've got to have the, you have, you want a bright red and you're not going to get it if if you're not using white, okay? So that's that's what we know for sure is that it has to be this has to be red and I don't want to put his beard in yet for the rest of this until we um if we if we try to do it all at once you'll lose all your lines does it make sense if you try to do this all at once you're going to lose where everything goes so I'm going to just take a second John I'll just edit this out. Let's take a second. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. We're going to dry. And we're back. Okay, so now... Now, a typical question we get, Ginger, is... Isn't tracing cheating? Yeah, this came up, John. That's a good one. This came up on the... Um, on, on our Facebook club the other day. And my answer to that was obviously no. <laughs> this is uh, going to be a little bit lighter here. I like that. Uh, no, no. And here's why. Because, you know, you, I know you're going to want the why part. Well, why not? Well, you don't think it's cheating when you're cooking if you use a microwave. It is the technology of the times. The masters all did grids or even there were some... Before the Impressionists, and they were painting those giant life-size paintings and those fabulous big paintings, what they had even a small way to project the images on the canvas. But I promise you, if I gave you a printout of the Mona Lisa and told, told you to color it in, it wouldn't look anything like Leonardo da Vinci's painting, probably not even close, particularly if you don't paint. This just gives you a head start to line it up, so at least you have a chance at getting it right. This is like giving you the spelling for it. There you go. The shape of the, you know. Give so you the letters. Yeah, so at least you so know what the, the letters. letters to form the words, to form the sentences, to create the painting. Come yeah. on, people. Yeah, now, there's a shadow here, and one of the things you can do, here's something I want to share with you. We haven't done this before, but I feel like sometimes people always ask, um, here's naphthal red deep, okay? And that is a color that's like um, a lizard and crimson. And that can be a very good, alizarin crimson um, is like a, a burgundy wine shade. And if you need a, a you know, need something darker um, for your shadows, for your and, shadows and stuff, and stuff yeah. you can use that. The other way is to take a little bit of ultramarine blue, mix with it, and you can get, it gets really dark fast. It's almost like a, a dark purple grape color. See the difference? I'm saying that there's some shadows in here. Um, where his um, uh, pants are. Then I'll rinse the brush off because I don't want any of that on there for the rest of my red. But you can see that if you don't put the shadows in, 
um, you're going to find that um, you won't be able to really see what the image is because this all works because of the shadows. Make sense? And he comes down here like this. All right. So if I'm going to keep going with this, I probably want to put the beach in pretty, soon. Um, pretty, pretty quick. So let's um, let's take a moment and take some white paint and a little bit of yellow oxide. And um, uh, let's go some zinc white. All right. And let's just let's just put this beach in. It's a little bit too gold. We got the gold with the um oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Hang on a second, I messed up something else. We have the gold with the um the packages. With the packages. And um so I don't want that color. Does it make sense? So let's just, I'm, I think probably the most efficient thing would be to wipe it off. Start again. See how simple it is with acrylics? Let's see, see the background's that dry, so it's not lifting off. So i try another color. Let's try white and a little bit of burnt sienna. And maybe a little bit of that. I don't want no yellow in it. So burnt sienna. A little bit of ultramarine blue. There we go. Let's just do more of a blue sandy beach here. See better, right? Yeah, it's looking good. So that was white, burnt sienna, and a tiny bit like 1% of ultramarine blue. Okay. Hey, we had a couple of donations come in, and we'd like to thank these people. Linda, using the PayPal system, thank you for all you do, especially helping me get through the holidays. Thank you, Miss Linda, for your donation, and also one from Clarice. Thank you again, Miss Clarice. Now, what we do is we're doing quarterly fundraising for the Karen Little Scholarship Fund. And we're going to start this year, which we didn't do last year. We kind of came up with an idea later in the year. But we're going to start from December. So it's going to run from December through February for the first quarter. We're going to shift it a month is how we're basically doing it. That gives the people a little bit more opportunity to participate. And what we do is uh, Ginger picks out at least three paintings that... If you make a donation of $100 or more in the quarter over the three month period, you get a ticket in a fishbowl that Ginger will pick from at the end of the quarter. Live on the air. What's that? Live on the air. Live on the air, right there in front of you. You can see the last one we did was last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Was the December 7th show or 6th show, whatever the summer was? December 6th show. And um, each hundred dollars gets you a ticket in the fishbowl. And then the first person gets the pick of the first, oops, the first of the three paintings, and then the second gets the second, and the third gets the third. So it's kind of a fun way to get a ginger cook original. You get a certificate of authenticity with it, just as if you purchased it directly. So again, a hundred dollar donation. Each hundred dollar donation gets you a ticket in the drawing every quarter. And we're starting December through February is the first quarter. Yes. So again, thank you for those who donate. It does help. Okay, so you see where we've got one layer of this. And I'm kind of lightening up a little bit here, but it's all in, you can see this almost um, sand color. You could, if you wanted to, just paint the bottom of this too, if you want. If you're going to be setting this up somewhere. Maybe you want the bottom of this painted. Well, in case you hang it on the wall. You don't want blue under there. So let's just keep painting it this sort of. It looks like the ocean went through the water. Yeah. See? You this, there you go. That's nice, right? So that's a that's a little trick about the gallery wrap. It's just 
They are a little more money initially, but since you're not buying a frame, you really do save, right? So, um, let's see. I think I lost my foot here. I'll have to put him back. It's all right. His foot got buried in the sand. Foot got buried. That's all right. They can, they can, I can put him back. All right. Um, now, that is a, a good place to just let that air dry a little bit. Let me take a minute and show you some other paintings. You know, for the holidays, one of my favorite ones we've done this year, and we kind of back way out, is this uh, Sparkle Santa. And this is in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. It's another one that's done on a gallery wrap canvas. Can you see that? Yeah. And um, I think this is absolutely marvelous um, picture. Several people have done it to um, do for the holidays, and you probably still have time to do it. If, if you want to buy the downloadable lesson and just uh, not be an Academy member, uh, you can buy the downloadable lesson. If you're an Academy member, this is a, if you're a red or purple member, that's the ones that come with personal art coaching. That's it. This is available in acrylic painting with gingercook.com. And if you're having trouble finding the star stencils, um, John and I bought two extra packages. For those of you who maybe don't have access to Amazon or something and live out of the country and would like the star stencils, maybe if you cover the postage, we could send you a package. Um, don't know if I can get them to you for, before Christmas, however. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't think so. But <laughs> By the time know. we get back, it's the 20th. So. Yeah, so no. um, anyway, I don't think I can get it to you before Christmas, but, um, but you can also just... Um, uh, paint them normally. So anyway, I think this is really a neat picture, and I want to encourage you guys to, you know, you know maybe try something a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, in our academy, we try to release lots of holiday paintings, and this particular one here with the with the cocoa. I think what I love about this is this can go, uh, you know, from November clear through March, and it's still. It's a winter painting as opposed to just holiday. Yes. So that's really nice. And it's uh, and I think I love the neutral colors. Another one that can go a long time that we're going to be releasing um, very soon is um, before Christmas is this one of the candy. And again, this is one that could do great kitchen piece piece could go could stay a long time in the kitchen, bright and happy. Or you can keep that one up year round, really. Yeah, Come keep on. that one up year round. Yeah, it's got great colors in it. Yeah, so it's great colors. So, you know, we just don't want to overwhelm you with all these great stuff. But the thing about it is, is that the, the benefit of doing, you know, on YouTube, we do small little lessons and, you know, usually one or two cookie and we keep them fairly short. Some of our academy lessons are six, eight hours. Some are four or five, some are two or three. But um, the, the thing is, is that you get in-depth um instruction but what you don't get is you don't get me you don't get john or any of the fun chat you know <laughs> that happens with john but you do get the rest of it how's that so um all right so now we're, we're gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna keep painting on this uh this has had a chance to dry a little bit i'm gonna take some of that cad red light color Come up here like this. Just lighten up his hat a bit. Reshape it. And um, let's let's just go ahead and take some red and in and yellow and white and do some skin tones. And just suggest he's got a hand right here. And then we're going to put his legs down here like this, the one foot. And his foot goes up at an angle like this. He's got an ankle coming here like that. He's got his toes leaning this way. Then I'm going to make his other back leg a little darker. His back foot back here. 
And let's get something a little bit lighter for the top of his foot. Now, here's the thing. I've got too much paint on there. This is where you've got to do paint management. Um, what I mean by that, with paint management, you write that down, paint management. How much paint are you putting on your brush at any one time? I know the top of this is a little lighter. There's this, you know, and his, um, his white furry comes right up to here. This all comes together. Um, You know, speaking of paint management, right now I'm really close on you, and you have a lot of paint on your. Brush. I, I I have a lot of paint, and that's because um, I'm trying to get a layer of this white over the top of his hat. And you're also trying to give it the fluffiness by giving it making it thick. Yeah, that's it. And this kind of curves around. This is my second layer of color. Let's see. So you and that's use kind the of... paint to express the whole emotion of the emotion of the ocean. Yeah, it does. And you'll notice that in the, that there's actually a little secret here in the back of his head to make it look round. There's a little bit of a gray. I'm so used to using that Stay Wet palette when I tell you what, I like that so much better than just regular, but I've got a little bit of a shadow back here because, um, and here, because that's on his, um, yeah, let's just put a little one here between his legs. And um, you'd think that would make much of a difference, but you see, you can kind of separate that, right? And uh, I'm going to take the, let's see, wet my brush again because it's paint's drying out. The, the bottom of this curves. Bottom of that curves and it curves around up around like this. This hat's all fuzzy and furry and fun. There, so I kind of did that. That makes a difference. Uh, again, this is a pretty simple picture. I want to make sure I've got something light up here on his. I'm doing this light up here on his toes here, like that. There we go. All right, so. Let's take the sand color we made and come back under his feet now. How did we make it? Nobody, nobody shot at once. How did we make the sand color? White, burnt sienna, and ultramarine blue. Come up behind here like this. There you go, his foot's kind of buried in the sand here. And there's another little bit of foot sticking out here like this. Okay. So, now, this is just a matter of, you know, maybe carrying the ocean that way like that. So he's just sitting there. And now I want the... Um, I think I want a few more highlights on my my clothes here, like that, maybe. A little bit dark right under here, like on his pants. Okay, like that. All right. I'm not going to do much more there. So now I'm looking at this going, um, let me just put our kitty away. I'm looking at this going, um, I've got some pretty good clouds here. I could do a little more with the clouds that I've got because they sort of just melted into the scenery. Yes and yes. So maybe we'll take some zinc white. I always start, when you're doing clouds, start first with zinc white and then see how it goes, right? And since this has had a chance to dry, Play with a little bit with the clouds here. I don't want to get too down too close to where my cruise ship is going because um, that would be good. Just well, we wouldn't see it because it's a white ship. Yeah. 
So here's a little bit of um. So that's the zinc white. Let's try a little titanium. See if we can't get more, more clouds going here. Put some across here like that. But the, the wind shear's kind of blown them flat. There's the one thing you can count on when you're in, on the ocean, right back to zinc, is that uh, the uh, there's always like a little fog bank usually here down by the ocean. There we go. Mm. All right. I feel like we've got some depth here, but I'm not, this feels a little flat. So let's take this cloud up here like that, give it a little bit more of a shape. And remember, you can come back with blue. You, if you do a cloud, if you get it too much, you can come back and, you know, play with the blue a little bit if you if you kind of overdid it. You know, just give it um, give it some consideration when you're doing that. Think about uh, this is a good one to play with the sky, because you've got a lot of sky showing here. You can bring it all the way over here. Something to look at when you will see this from the angle where it is. That. I want him to show up pretty good right here. So there's a good place to have something white right there. Put the green back. Okay. You know, contrast makes things show up pretty nicely. All right, so I want a little bit of a, uh, you know, when the beach is wet, the sand is wet, it's a little darker where it's wet. Have you ever noticed that? Absolutely. So there's usually, if you come under here like this, use the same beach colors, just less white. Maybe the tide came in. It's not even either. Tide came in a little sooner than you anticipated. Maybe it's going out. We don't know. Santa should know, don't you think? Yeah, he's there. He should know if the tide's going out or in. There we go. Sometimes you can do a little bit of purple, too. That's pretty, too. You can have a little bit of a purple tone to it. And um, a little bit of blue and magenta or something. and Just... That's another good color for people that like color on beaches. That's just right? yourself. That's just myself, yes. So, and I noticed that I did get my Southern Ocean blue color as far up to the Santa as I would like. So let's just, just come in here like that, and just make sure we have it. And you don't see it there. All right. Okay, so I didn't want that color. Just one little white. Nice ocean. Okay. So that's dry enough now where I can go ahead and add his beard and the back of his hair. And I'll leave just the tiniest bit of a blue line where the, let's see where his, because again, he's looking out this way, so you just don't see him. I thought you guys would like this because you really just, here it is, a little bit of the swirl is going down the back, out with the hair and the beard. Okay, yes and yes. And let's do a little more hand here. Let's do a, give him a little more a bit of a hand. Okay. So so far so good. Yeah. Um, what we started to talk about um, uh, you know traceables and stuff and what you can expect and um, 
one of the things you want to remember when you're tracing something on is that that it doesn't matter if you're gridding or tracing it on it's when you do it because if you if if i always like in acrylics i like to paint the background first there's a little shadow under here well, typically where... it's back to front yeah typically so You want to kind of watch that. Okay, I'm going to take some cad jello medium and I'm going to paint the boxes in. And I will paint the gold over it, but I'm going to go ahead and paint these boxes in. Wipe all the extra water off my brush. I know that this is all boxes here. Packages, Christmas packages. A big pile of them. Right, big Christmas packages, big pile of them. And they were all supposed to go to the cruise ship and they didn't get to go. <laughs> See, it got left behind on the beach. Yeah, so we'll paint them on around the side. Now, while we're while that's drying, let me speaking of Christmas, let me show you a few things that got sent in to us recently for Christmas and thank um we want to thank uh, Judy for sending this. Wait, wait, wait. Got to back out. John's got to back out. Here, we move this out of the way where that's right. Judy yeah, sent us this go. darling uh, um, Jim Shore sculpture of Santa Claus for a Christmas decoration. And I just, isn't that pretty? It just looks, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And who's holding the. Um, all the presents. All the little presents. So cute. Yes and yes. And then we um, got a really nice uh, group of gifts in the mail from, um, and a card with it. Where's a card with Judy's too, but uh, this was from, um, what's a cute card from wishing you this holiday season from um, Janie. Janie in Canada. She We're just Canadian, uh, buddy. happy holidays. And so check this out. She is very notices that I wear barrettes. Look I was at thinking these. about taking them up now. I see these. Yeah, John thinking he might wear barrettes too. These are kind of nice, you know. Um, John always shudders when I open packages. Oh, probably mean this like already. I'm sitting here. I can't believe. I can't believe scissors. For Pete's sake, are you kidding me? No, no. Maybe I'm getting. I don't know. <laughs> John doesn't like how I open things. <laughs> there, look at that. Isn't that pretty? You didn't really see it without the foil. These roses. Looks like a Disney princess barrette, doesn't it? And there's a gold one and a pink, a gold one and a yeah, purple, gold, pink, purple, 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 and blue green. green. So thank you, Janie, very much. And um, we appreciate it very much. And there were some hair ties too, some sort of fancy hair things too. Because you notice it's the only way I wear my hair when I'm wearing it up is with the barrette and that's because I don't have any idea how to do anything else. And she sent me something else, and we'll have to play with that. And I'll show you guys. We gotta those. get directions on that one. We gotta get directions. I mean, probably have to Skype her to get the directions on how to do any of that. All right. So this is still wet. So let's put in our cruise ship. Okay. You can do that. What while we're doing that, and I think probably the safe thing to do, um, would be to just draw it in. So what we we know that he's it's coming down here like this goes this way then the back end stops here like this and then straight down and then this is level cuz it's sitting in the water okay yes and yes and then it goes up like this and across kind of like this there's our cruise ship and there's some stuff on top so you know, parts of the ship that, you know, but yeah, basically yeah, that's stuff. your ship. Stuff on top. I'm sure the captain would like to hear you say that. There's stuff on top. Yeah, so we're just going to start with them um, with white. And, Seems uh, to be the go-to color. Yeah, let's see, because remember the angle goes down and then straight up and down on the back. And then on the 
level on the front, or on the bottom rather, and then as it comes to the front, it's at a sharp angle here before it goes up this way. Okay, and then we want a little gray color, which we'll do some ultramarine blue and brown. It makes a pretty good gray color, and then we're going to come on underneath here like this, with this is the bow of the ship, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That's the front. That's be the front for those of you who like nautical terms. The front. No, the bow. The bow. Okay, let the ship like that, and we'll do a few little dark lines across the top here. See, already you're going, woo, cruise ship. <laughs> and then. Um, I can hear them now. You can hear them now. And then there's um, there's these little little dealy things on top that kind of do this. And then in here like that, they've got some sort of little dealy thing like that. They're on top of that. Yes and yes. Okay. And then there's more. It's got. Like some, this is where there's some windows and things. These are the lifeboats coming along there like that. And then there's more of this gray stuff, which is, you know, the deck and the windows that we'll just kind of put in here like that. Just suggest the ship like that. Okay. Then we're going to, um, probably should dry in between, but we're just, Gonna come down here like this. Put some of the white up in front of these uh, little top pieces, and uh, get too much paint on the brush. Roll it off. There you go. And we want some Southern Ocean blue. A little bit of water on the brush. I'm telling you what, I'm never, I'm going, never gonna leave those state pet wet pat palettes anymore because I really like them so much you do definitely have to use them correctly to stay wet palettes yeah the trick is on those if you're wondering if they haven't been working for you what you want to do in those on those stay wets is um, follow the directions follow the directions <laughs> implicitly that you have to you do have to um you have to soak the paper the palette paper in hot hot water prior to using it for 15 minutes minimum. Yep. And you can tell because the paper changes, you, you can see where it's wet and where it's gone through and stuff. So you can see the coloring change upon it. But yeah. that is key. If you don't do that, it'll never work. And you yep. just be frustrated with them. Now we want to add a little bit of blue to his hair in the back. This is kind of blue, blue gray, because huh? that's it. Yeah, just you got a little contrast here. And something with his hair and neck here like that. Okay, you see he's looking pretty cute, right? I'm telling you, this wasn't a particularly hard painting to do. I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow now and white and just do a little of that in the water, just a few little things in the front. And all the way around. Because we can do it, right? There you go. Okay. So, how far out do you go with this? It looks like your number zero brush, doesn't it? Yeah, so number zero is just pretty small. You put a little yellow into the Southern Ocean green. Southern Ocean blue. Southern Ocean blue. And if you put a little yellow, you get more of a really nice sort of tropical green water too. So you can you can play with this water a bit if you want. I mean, you can really you don't have to get too crazy either. I mean it's just a thought. You can do that if you want. But the dark the the bluer stuff, you know, the really nice deep blue green color out here. There we go. Thanks, Santa. Okay, so um and I lost a little bit of my white on the cruise ship, which I'm going to put back when it dries. Yes and yes. Okay, so there we go. Cruise ship 
Santa. Now let's let's take the let's now this is dried enough where we can now take the gold paint. And uh, I wanted to do that. Just put this gold paint on top of these, like that. Figured it wouldn't show up very much unless we did unless we did this this way. One of these kind of nice, you know, the gifts. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow oxide. Okay. I'm going to say that the this side is a little darker. A couple of gifts here, like that. There we go. Yes and yes. Now, if I had a little bit of beach sand color, shadow color, I could come under here like this. I like that purpley sand color too, though. Kind of straighten that out. And then let's take the, make that sand color again with a little more white in it. That's looking good already. And then let's, um, Let's lighten up the sand here in the front. Here we go. Just a little bit. See, yeah, it's never just one color, so just lighten this up a little bit here. And I think I want some more white on my um, water here. There you go. And it seems looking pretty good, right? And the water and everything. And you know, there's always, you know, the thing I like about the thing I've always liked about color is all the different shades of you know, like the shadows are never just ever one color. You know, you but you've got when you've got a beach, you've got colors on it. There's some stuff, right? Just kind of come up under there like that. So patches of packages are looking pretty nifty, yeah. And uh there you go. Just I definitely like sandy, yeah. And they're big. Yeah, they're they're big packages. So we we we're not we're not fooling around here. We're taking some white and gold here. We're in a little bit of yellow with it. We're not fooling around. We're saying that there's our light side to this. Okay, it's just kind of. There we go. Yes and yes. This is at an angle here. See that? We got some big packages now, because this is wet. We want to be careful that we um, uh, let me give soon a bit more of a tan here with this foot. All right, so let's let's dry this and um, before I do that though I want to do this. I want to come back in here like this and just give the beach a little bit more like this. There we go. So just kind of instead of a straight line, instead of you know, because I he's about to float away otherwise. And Eric, if you do this bigger, give Sand a little more room. Eric probably will do this bigger. Okay. Now there we go. All right, I'm going to dry that, and then we're going to put the package, you know, the stuff on. And then before I do that, I want to show you this painting that's going to be coming up in the academy soon. If you haven't, um, going to back out on that little. John's going to back out here. Um, I wanted to mention that Academy of Fine Art Acrylic Painting is probably, with the personal art coaching, is probably one of the most marvelous things that I've ever done as a as an art teacher and a professional artist. 
because you can send your artwork in to me and I can take, take a photo of it. I can duplicate it, take it into a painting program and show you step by step how you can fix your artwork and you can even um, and improve it. And you can even, or maybe even just point out why you did it right. And if you send me once a, once a month, you can send me a, some other non-tutorial piece and we can work on that. Maybe somebody gave you a commission to paint their family dog that's passed away. And I get a lot of those and I make suggestions on how do you make it better. So whether you're a professional artist or just starting out, personal art coaching is the key. We won't be able to. The thing is that you're grandfathered in. If you never drop out of the academy and you stay with us, you're always guaranteed personal art coaching. Um, at some point, we get to the point where we can no longer accommodate personal art coaching. You get on a waiting list because there's just too many people. And so you want to secure your spot, secure your membership before Christmas. You know, make sure that be, before the end of the year, make sure that you have membership. Our prices are going up um, right now. A uh, 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 membership is uh, for for personal art coaching it starts at uh, $28.95 a month. That's for seniors. For seniors. And seniors 60 and above. And the seniors to 68, 60 years and above. Now, here's the thing. Next year, we will no longer be offering a senior discount. But if but if you are in in the, uh, the, the current price range, or maybe you have even a lower one, because you're grandfathered into the price you sign up with, as long as you haven't you know dropped out. So, for instance, say next year, um, you're, you're, uh, you're in 2022, the question came up. Oh, uh, you want to try wave and water for a month? Will you have to pay the new price for the wave and water? No, you you will keep the you will keep the prices of where you were when you signed up. As long as you stay an active member, keep your membership active, your price won't change from the day you signed up. Which is, you know, I don't I don't think anybody ever does this, but we we did it for you guys, and we thank you for those who have hung us and with us from the beginning. You're going to give yourself a membership, really. So what? It's going up from twenty eight ninety five a month. What's the new price for a red membership for January, starting January? Starting January? Mm -hmm. oh. I wish you gave me a little bit of a heads up on that. Before. Well, we'll tell you in a minute. Just stay tuned. John will tell you in a minute. He's going to look it up. But anyway, now's the time to be, give yourself Here the... Here it is. What is it? Uh, new prices. Uh, red membership will be forty four ninety five. Okay, forty four ninety five. So and the blue membership will be fifty eight ninety five, and the purple, which gives you both wave and water and the academy, and we're going to do some special things with the purple members is eighty nine ninety five. So, again, that's nothing for personal art coaching. We know that. I mean, it's just most people. If you go, if you were to do a workshop with it, be in person or do it, that is like. It's still, it's a great value. We're constant. We have over five hundred tutorials, and we're constantly adding new ones. Like, it's the it's really f pretty fabulous, but again, I want to invite you to um, grab your this year's prices while you can. I love that teddy bear. You did a beautiful job on that bear. I don't care about the kid. That bear's great, though. Okay, so now if that's had a chance to dry, so we're going to take um, some bright red paint and a brush here, and let's wrap the packages. Okay. So we know that we've got a we've got a, a, a coming this way and it's gonna come around like this, come down like that, maybe over the top. And it then it'd be so easy to wrap a package that way, wouldn't it? I know. No one likes this <laughs> John would be he's never seen me try to wrap a package. I think it would if he doesn't like how I open them, he's gonna be horrified if you ever watch me wrap one, right? Don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I, I could not be in the same room. No, I get more tape on me than I ever do on the <laughs> package. It's um okay. Yeah, let's come on over here to our just on our other side to get it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a few bows on things and we'll just I think we'll put a nice happy bow on the top of this one up here like that. Okay, that's nice. And how about a couple bows right here in the center? And let's put a bow up here.
and maybe over here in the middle, we'll put one. How easy is that? Yeah. Now what you do is you take a little bit of this gold paint and you just add a few highlights to your bow. You could wait till it dries or just take a chance and drop a few in. Yes and yes. Okay, so we've got we've got Santa with his packages. I want to put a little sand on his feet. You ever, you ever do that when your feet get wet and you got a little sand on his legs here? Make sure I have the shadow going underneath his toes here. Because his feet are kind of sticking, that one toe is sticking up in the air. So there's a little shadow here. Okay, that's his little footies. Here's his hand right here. Just make a little shadow right here. Where his hand is. Okay, we're all good here. And um, I feel like our cruise ship lost a little bit of its white paint. Just feel like it's just not as slick as I need it to look. There we go. That's better. We, we know that's a cruise ship now. Yes. Yes and yes. Okay. Now, what are we missing? Oh, don't all shout it out at once. You know we're missing something. <laughs> yes? What could we possibly be missing? Well, I see a little bit of something right here, a little bit of white right there. Okay, that mint is important right there. Let's put a white. We were looking through it, so he got a skinny Santa. Well, maybe he's leaning forward. Listen, it was a. Okay, now what? Um, I'd like some brighter red right up in here. If I have anything even lighter in the red department. Oh my god. Somebody was telling me about a color I should own for a brighter red. So what would that be? Try a little bit of try a little yellow with our red. See if I can't lighten it up just a touch. A little bit brighter up here. Okay. Let's just, there you go. Not too skinny a Santa, but he's there. Let me just bring this back here where the packages are. Okay. Didn't want to get too close on that, but I don't, I don't I'm just looking for my white Posca pen. So I wanted to do a few birds. Of course. Of course we'd be missing. Yeah, see? I think we need birds, don't you think so? I've got them in this one. Um, okay, that's kind of nice, the birds. And I was originally going to put a palm tree right here. Yeah, we have no idea. I don't know, but I kind of like it the way it is. The problem is I like it the way it is. I think it's kind of nice. I think I could do another bird way up here in the clouds. And let's 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 fly some birds over here. You know, the bigger they are, they're closer. 
Yeah, when you turn it around. Okay. You know how birds always follow cruise ships. Uh, they're hopeful, yes. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's come up around here like that. All right, we're good there. Okay. I'd rather like it like this. I think the palm tree just would be too much. Bring one down. Did I do one like that? Put a palm tree in it? Yeah, didn't I do one like that where I put a palm tree We just in did it digitally. Oh, I did it digitally? Oh, I see. Yeah, I did it digitally. Well, look, I'm going to put it in, you guys, just because John mentioned it. Oh, you started the conversation. I was going so, to bring it up, but I figured you didn't want to do it. Well, I'm going to just bring it in. You you decide if you want it. So here's the thing. So you can either stop now, turn, turn us off, or stay tuned and see what happens. Whoa, look at that. And here's the thing. This brush has been sitting in water, so it's useless. So let's take some brown here. You know, and a palm tree here, and I'm just going to wipe that off because that just didn't work because there was too much water on the brush. So here, let's just take this palm tree like this. This is for you guys that are living in Florida. Australia, where your your holiday season's a bit different than the rest of us, okay? Now, we're going to take some phthalo blue and yellow. We're going to make a nice green, as opposed to an ugly green, right? And let's just start putting in our fronds. Flatten out your brush. I like it. I think it's adding to it. This one's all just coming down this way like that. So, yeah. Start with your darkest colors, lights go on top. Yeah, you're right, John. I think that the maybe that's exactly what we needed to kind of finish this guy kind off. Of, you know, seals the deal. There's some coconuts, he's not starving. <laughs> The sled didn't break down, and here he is stuck in the Caribbean, nowhere to go, right? Now, we can, we can have a tree coming up on this side if we wanted. Kind of going up this way. You want to do it? Should we go? Or just have some palm fronds coming this way, too. Keep it simple. Here, here's the side. If we said there was a tree coming up here. Yeah, let's do that. You know, go a little, you can see it from the top, too, a little bit. I like that. Look at that. Oh, you're so clever. There you go. A tree. Okay, now wait a minute. Got it a little thick up there. So what do you do? So I'm just trying to paint it weird. So what do you do? You just go erase this part. Rinse, wipe, swipe. Rinse it off, wipe the brush off. Come away from it and just erase. No need to panic. Okay. 
Now, here, let's do, uh, do some white here, like this, because it's a palm tree. Let's just come around like that. Like that these kind of brush strokes. There you go. That looks more palm tree, doesn't it? All right. This is darker here. On this side. Okay. Now. Now. So we've got. Um, In the bird's eye view. Yeah, so we'll paint some on top like that. Doesn't have to be too too clever. Okay, there we go. There's our there's our nifty palm tree. I like that. I think you finished it off myself. Yeah, perhaps so. It, it adds that extra dimension of depth. Yeah. So uh isn't that a fun little picture piece? And uh just palm trees are never just let's take a little orange and yellow. Palm trees are never just one color. They always have a little bit of this orange color with them. Now you get some, you put a few little drops of that color and then you get, now you get tropical. So that being said. Now, now you get a ginger painting. Now you've got a ginger painting, right? And then you've got your whites up in here like this. On the beach here like that yes and yes and we've got um we've got a really fun painting yes halo green southern ocean blue and yellow There you go. So happy, happy holidays, right? Happy Everybody. Holidays. And um, we absolutely feel like we have. Uh, here you go. Let's just put this beard down here like that. All right, you guys. Santa is. Coming to town, right? Just taking a little while to get there. <laughs> this is the back he, end of he's this. He's going by way of cruise ship. He's a guy. A little break. darker in the back here. All right, that's it. Now, before you say that's it, my cleanness. Mm -hmm. Um, did you show the last painting we did? Oh no. No, I didn't. I just thought I'd mention that where, because where is, it? is it the one right behind you? Oh yeah, the um yeah, yeah. Right. I mean that's the one we spent yeah. was on. All right. Back it up, you guys. You yeah, back it up, people. All right, look at this. This is coming before Christmas. This is our uh still life of tools the old wooden tools the old wooden tools tool so box. this is again we've got some beautiful beautiful academy paintings uh, this would be a great father's day gift too but I'm telling you what if you've got somebody in your family that loves woodworking this would be the thing to do another great reason to belong to the academy remember don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um 
We hope you enjoyed this fun little painting. And I've done, if you're a cat, if you are a Facebook uh, a club uh, person that participates in Face Club, Face Club Ginger Cooks Acrylic uh, Painting Club on Facebook is um, really a nice place to be able to show me your artwork and see the work of others and be encouraged and get news and get the latest stuff and sign up for our newsletter for sure. And you know what we didn't do this time, John? We didn't do the challenge. No, um, we, we just introduced that. We'll probably do that more of that in the first of the year. We'll do. We got to get those laid out. Yeah, well, we're we gonna. Have we'll, we'll, we have for 2022. Big news for 2022. Don't forget to go to the official Art Sherpas uh, website um, to sign up for the workshop. If there's any when this airs, if there are any tickets left. Um, there's, very, very limited seating. There's 30 originally, and at this time, there's like 20 left. I mean, they're going... Well, that was quick. the day when we filmed it, but not yeah, well, Monday. Yeah, we not don't now, know. There may not be... We don't yeah, know when you watch this, when that will be. We so, sent out a newsletter, and it was posted in the Facebook club, and we're going to keep mentioning it up until they're filled. And there's a way to get a scholarship, too. If you want to... They're, they're going to scholarship one ticket one person for the whole event. So that's pretty exciting too. So you want to find out the details about that. And uh, you might be able to be one that's a scholarship, but it's not a random drawing by any means. It's somebody has to write and explain to the archer but why you should be chosen as a person that gets scholarship. Now we'll have a giveaway when we get back on the 20th and palm tree is the word for a downloadable in the Salvador kit. For the Salvador kit, which will be the which this one with the brushes, this the kit one with the brushes the and the goodies. Yeah, so those will be the two um, two gifties. Two gifties. So again, please subscribe. Thanks for joining, and um, it, it's been fun chatting with you. Yeah, and excuse her typos. She's not known for typing. Yeah, no, nope, not known for <laughs> typing. Not my skill. All right, <laughs> see you guys. Bye, everyone. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes, the queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.